Overseas nurses, do you want to know what job role you can do while you're waiting for your registration or your pin to come through from the NMC? If you want to find out the answers to these questions, stick around and stay tuned as I dive into this video. Watch this video till the end as I'm going to tell you my personal experience of the job role and let you know if this job role is necessary and still relevant. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nurse Nyamuj. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a overseas new graduate from Canada. I'm currently living and working in the UK as an associate practitioner. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and put your notifications on so you know when I'm posting and you have all the information you need. All right, let's dive into the video. So lots of people always ask me what, so if you're not a registered nurse, what are you and what do you work as there in the UK or here in the UK? So the job role, do you guys like my tunic by the way? I think it's like a shirt or uniform. Anyways, so it's like a baby blue. I am an associate practitioner, not the same as a nurse practitioner. I can see why people could get them confused, but nurse practitioners are probably like band seven, no, not even band seven, like band eight. I'm band four, so still got a few bands up to go. Because I didn't come with an agency attachment when I moved to the UK, I came on my own on my own visa. I had the opportunity to just kind of apply for any job role that I was qualified for here in the UK. An associate practitioner was being one of those job roles. Let's look into the NHS website. So the NHS website set, describes an associate practitioner as an experienced staff working in a supportive role alongside healthcare professional. Um, it also says here that associate practitioner, also known as an assistant practitioners, have the skill set and experience in, a, in particular areas um, of clinical practice. Although they are not registered, they have the high level skill set that's needed through previous experiences as well as training. My previous experience slash training is my nursing training that I've had back in Canada. So that's how I was able to qualify for this. This job role is a band four, um, just one band below uh, what a staff nurse would be. The job role of an associate practitioner or assistant practitioner varies, is dependent on where you are working. And the experience you're gonna get also depends on where you're gonna, you are working. The experience I'm gonna be sharing with you today and all the information I'm sharing with you today is based on my personal experience and the experience that I've gotten from the ward that I've been on. So don't take this as this is all an associate practitioner does or anything like that. It's just from my personal experience. So as an associate practitioner, you would be working under direct supervision um, of healthcare professionals such as nurses, dietitians, physiotherapists, your level of training, it would allow you to work independently without supervision. As an associate practitioner, you would be able to carry out agreed procedures while referring to professional guidance and protocol as necessary. Associate can, practitioners can be found all over the place. You can be finding them in hospitals and clinics. Um, they can also work in the community alongside GP, um, surgeries you can find them visiting homes as well as uh, residential so now i'm going to go into the personal details of my experience as an associate practitioner um, as you guys have heard earlier an associate practitioner is a mostly a supportive role so you are just helping out um, the qualified and healthcare professionals so from my personal experience and the ward that i currently work on my job role has been like a to Z essentially. Um, when I first got the job role, it was very confusing and not really sure of what I was doing. Not because I didn't know, not because I wasn't competent, but more because I wasn't sure, I wasn't given appropriate um, directions, I guess, as to what the job role really meant. I asked various members of staff from senior team to just uh, people who have worked in the job role and the most common answer I kept receiving was as an associate practitioner you can do an every, everything a nurse can do except for give meds and for a while I was very confused as to what that really meant because surely I wasn't able to do everything as I've told you in my previous video I'll leave a link here nurses in the UK certain skill sets you have to be able to get training for it was a very difficult job role to adjust to, especially because you had two super 
um, strong roles in front and uh, behind you, you know, so it was just, and I was just kind of like in the middle, so where you had like a nurse, and then you had a healthcare aide, so it was very, very difficult at first to get used to because you weren't really quite sure what your job role is, especially on days that you work with a nurse and a healthcare aide or something like that. So in my current ward, I soon found out and I soon, you know, stopped stressing about the job role really and just kind of like went along with the flow and shortly my job role varied and it varied depending on the day and depending on what staffing was like. So there'd be days that we would have a good amount of nurses on shift. So then rather than working as an associate practitioner, I would work as in as a healthcare aide. On days that we didn't have enough nurses and, you know, we were short staffed, then I would be working as a nurse so it just my job role i wake up i go to work and just look on the board and it depends on what kind of day they're having or what kind of day we're going to have and that determines what i'm going to be doing in my job role and that's same with night shifts and day shifts when i am working as a say a nurse i do everything so they say except for meds so then that's when a charge nurse would have to administer my medication for me or one of the other staff nurses have to administer my medications so when they say i can do everything essentially i think that meant i could basically admit discharge write notes talk to you know the appropriate healthcare professional at the time regarding what the patient needs so there's been times where i would run the show essentially and then if it came to obviously the things i couldn't do then i would have to refer to the nurse in charge or uh, the staff nurse that was assigned to be doing my meds or other things that I couldn't do. So yeah, it got confusing. It was confusing at first, but you get used to it after a while. The most frustrating thing when I am working as a nurse in that job role is that, you know, nurses, the nurse in charge typically are very busy and running around the ward or, um, whatever it is that they're doing so automatically because they're not working with it directly with the patient i think it's almost an out of sight out of mind kind of thing where i have to constantly go to them multiple times repeatedly repeatedly to say can you do my meds can you do my meds can you give this person this can you do this person this and it's just so frustrating because patients are asking you these things you go to the nurse in charge or whoever is supposed to be doing it they haven't done it just patients are asking you again making you the person who's taking care of them look bad in certain in the sense where they think you're just not doing it or you're just not talking to people so I think that's the most frustrating thing for me is because I have to constantly chase them saying do this do this do that and so that's one thing I'm looking forward to to being qualified or qualified or um having my pin because then I can sort these things out on my own right away kind of thing without having that run around the days like that are quite cool and they're quite fun because I still get to feel like you know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing or what I trained to do so I'd like to know if any of you guys have experienced that or if you are associate practitioners um, in different areas of practice or what is required of you personally I hated this role for a long long time again partly just because I wasn't quite sure on exactly what everything meant I'm not sure if I still feel that way of the role does this role is this role necessary sometimes I do think that it's not necessarily a necessary role especially because you can't have um you get healthcare aides who are able to do you know certain skills or things that I can do as well a lot of the people that are on my board or a lot of people that I've seen in this role also um, as stated in the NHS have some kind of experience or training so a lot of people I see are overseas nurses from elsewhere who are still awaiting to do their registration process with, through the NMC such as their for me what's stopping me is or what process I'm going through is the test of competency so I've done the CBT and then I only need to do the OSCE so those are the only things that are kind of in my way for other associate practitioners that I've met a lot of them are stuck on the English test that is required for overseas nurses to do typically people I see as 
associate practitioners are nurses that are qualified elsewhere and that are going through the process of being qualified through the NMC. I do look forward to becoming qualified but I have also appreciated this job role and I've seen and I've learned quite a little bit. I've been also very lucky because I've gotten to see what the healthcare system is like here in the UK without being thrown into the deep end as a nurse or having all of this extra responsibility. So I've been able to, you know, start to learn the systems of what they use in the hospitals at a chiller pace, you know, so not so hectic moments. So yeah, it's been quite nice. And I don't think I would do it another way really because I believe that when I do become a nurse and when I do become qualified with my pin, I will feel that extra confidence knowing that I have been in this kind of position for a few months prior to a year prior. So um, yeah, I look forward to that.